we are here in Poland at Plock Stadium. What an event this is going to be. The atmosphere inside this stadium tonight is going to be insane. You can you can hear the actual the people are screaming and waving and stuff like that during the during the competition. It's really nice. This layout is like no other really. The last two tracks have been pretty safe, um, actual on race tracks. This is a really tight technical layout with concrete walls either side of you and you have to literally run your bumper on them. Uh, yeah, you have to watch out, you know, so your ass is in the wall, your front is in the wall. It's like crazy, it's like madness out there. There are no error for mistakes, so any mistake that you do, you get sucked into the wall. I think everywhere on the track is like really, really dangerous. Like this morning in practice, I've seen people take off their whole front of their cars to the inner, inner tipping points on the wall and stuff. So it's just, it's just a hectic track. It's just a good time, I guess, you know? The stage is set for one of the most brutal and demanding events in world drifting. Tonight, history will be made. A new hero will be crowned, but who will it be? Last year, it was a 15-year-old boy who would beat a world champion. Jack Shanahan from Ireland. Well, he's going up against Norbert Zemic. To the door goes Jack Shanahan. He's in transition as he makes a big dive onto the door now as they get into the out, out of zone. And there is contact, Dave. There is contact. This is Zalewski on the ropes, and once again Zalewski desperate to make a big dive, and he certainly does. He's got to be careful not to make contact, and he does. As the sun set and the stadium lights illuminated the most unique drift track in the world, everyone held their breath in anticipation. Two special drivers set out to create history. Dean and Borkowski were about to change the game forever. Championship in the balance. Borkowski is the wild card. And Dean makes the dive up into the back end of the S14. And he knows where Borkowski was. Borkowski left foot breaks into it. Can he keep with it? Dean almost takes the front of his car from the back end of Borkowski's S14. And Borkowski keeps in it. That perfect lead line. Dean now back on the rear corner of Borkowski's. The Irish have locked in the top two steps on the podium at round one and round two. It may be all over for Dean here. He can't catch him. He can't catch Murkowski. It doesn't make sense. Murkowski back where he was the first time. All over James Dean's car. He is actually side by side. Front wheel to front as he's pushing Dean around the track. And the transition is insane. This kid wants his name on everyone's lips tonight. And by midnight, he might just be that rising star. He's right there. He's close. In front of his fans, countrymen, and the world, Borkowski would push beyond what was deemed even possible and claim victory for Poland in this epic encounter.
Josh Hipke would battle it out with Max Heydrich for third. If he could take down the German, the Polish would lock out the podium in front of their home crowd. Indeed, look at this, Heydrich turns to the side of Dragos Hipke's BMW, he's made the same mistake he made. Oh, look at this, he tags the back wheel onto Dragos Hipke's back wheel as they transition now into the diesel zone. Look at that, the flames pop up over the wall. Look at Hipke put away again, that looks good. Oh, and Heydrich makes a huge mistake. Yeah, Heydrich making a massive error, hitting those water barriers, putting some serious damage on the rear end of that car, pushing a little bit too hard. He's got it all against him here. He'd have to pull off a miracle to get onto that third step on the point. Jumps into that lead position and a very good line there, but it looked like he was going to go into the wall. Held my breath for a second there as he got off the foot brake. Hipkey gives him some room to maneuver now, makes a dive. They come down into the wall now. They look for that front clipping point. And Max Hydrus on a very nice line, almost takes the front bumper off. He gets the back bumper onto the wall and flicks up some dust into the face of Dragos Hipkey right now. They navigate their way round the roundabout. No mistakes this time for young Max Hydrus. He pushes it right onto the side of the German's car and says, This is my town, buddy, and I'm here to win this battle. Hipke would secure a third and confirm a historic night for Polish drifting. The final runs of the night would be the most intense European drifting had ever witnessed. For the first step on the podium, who will take it? The man who earned his teeth here, the man who went away to America and did Poland proud? Or the unsung hero. We're about to find out. I'm taking a breath. I advise you all at home to do the same. Here we go. Last two runs of the night. Burkowski, he's been the star. He's beaten Vyansek's teammate. Can he beat the hometown hero? He fires into that first corner. First man of the evening to match that pace and pin it to the four minute drift star. Burkowski hungry forward into that last section, but Vyansek picking up that pace, getting a little bit more speed. Burkowski, though, not backing down, not a paddle straight on his car. He's going to take it to the podium. Will he take the win? Bjornsek's almost in the wall. Bjornsek has to back out. And Borkowski takes him across the line. Wow. And I'm about to raise the roof of this stadium for every local person here. Peter Bjornsek has it all to do. So the gears and throws it in. A Borkowski, what was that? They both raised the wall. Bjornsek, what? A Borkowski's car. This is what it's all about. Throwing it absolutely. Caution to the wind. And he transitions on the brakes of the line. Mistakes made from both drivers. This could end in an accident. This could end in a very big accident right now as Bokowski makes it into the roundabout. Peter Vincent gives him some room to maneuver. Finds the side once again of Bokowski's S14 and another brave transition for Peter Vincent. This is where we all can count now. Can Peter Vincent? Oh wow! Vincent almost takes the front of his car on the back end. And oh my God! Vincent pushes Pavel Bokowski across the line. Something happened that night in Poland. Something that is hard to explain. Something that connected us all. From the drivers on the track, to the fans in the stands, to those watching in disbelief across the world. The bar was raised in a football stadium in Płock, but that bar has the entire European drift community pushing it higher than ever before. When asked, where do we go from here? Or how can we improve? There is a simple response. This is Driftmasters. And this is what we do.